So one more thing you should know is that um, if you come to transactions, for instance, users shouldn't be able to manually add new transactions. We just want when somebody scans a QR code, the transaction will be created automatically. We don't want a situation where somebody is ever able to create a transaction. So let's remove the button first. But that's not the only way we can restrict it. We can we can block people from using it from the route, but I don't want to touch that aspect yet because I want to treat it as a whole topic. So let's remove this access first, and then we don't want people to be able to edit transactions. So we're going to remove the transaction, and we don't want people to be able to ever delete a transaction. So one, two, three is going. So let's go to transactions index. So transaction should be only created by the machine or software itself. Nobody should be able to manipulate it. So we're going to transaction index where is it? So on the index call, the first thing we're removing is this top guy. This top button that says add new. We remove it. Both of them. Thank you very much. Good. And then the second thing we're removing is we we'll go to the table. We're removing the edit and the delete button. Look at the table. And we'll go to the edit. And the delete button so we're going to make this go close the form because it's inside the form we remove the form we remove the button the two buttons edit and delete it's gone nobody should be able to delete or edit a button now we we're done with that we can go check it out refresh So remember these two guys that we fixed in the view page. We can do them here, but I'm thinking that um, we don't need some of this message successful amount status completed. PayPal method. Method. I think the only culprit we can remove here easily is method, and we're going to remove this. So um, we're going to pull out the, the product name. Okay. So here we're going to do. Instead of QR code ID, remember what we did before QR code. Then we did something like this, and did product name underscore name. We did it in the other video, and it's uh, because we specified the relationship. It started working. Now we have a product. Beautiful. Now we can make this product a link so that we can remove this. So to make it a link, we're simply going to copy what is already here. This part, this part is just a link. We're going to copy it from here. We take it out then I can delete the rest of this okay so here we're gonna create it I'll just create paste you see ahref I've pasted it then we're going to close it here I'll close arrow like this then here we're gonna add it and that's beautiful uh, let's go check it out refresh this should be a link and this should be gone so we need to remove this top and this bottom so that there will be space so if we go to the top this action we don't need it we'll pull it out then at the bottom this td we don't need it we'll pull it out then we're good we reload and beautiful so the owner id the person that created this i think we don't need to know it since we already have this so when they click on this they can see the owner id so we don't need the owner id to display here generally what you what you basically want to do on the index page or table like this is to create space remove unnecessary fields and create space beautiful the next thing is that we need the user to be in the middle so that the product will be at the front all right i think the amount too should be somewhere close all right now this user um, we bring it to QR code and it's not user ID I think this is just buyer we call it buyer um, we call this product or QR code so QR code product I think it should be product okay we're just gonna call it QR code all right so we have to do the same thing here the user ID should be right on the next product and now we're going to call it user name. Beautiful. We've already specified the relationship in the model, so it will work perfectly if we reload. 
what do we have? Uh, perfect working code will be this this code now that require both this QR code and what payment method before um, I think instead of payment method pushes this so much I think we should just call it method um, anybody can understand method people refresh okay good this is very important the, the, in this status message and um, the amount is where I have issue. I think the amount shouldn't take up a full column on its own. It should be somewhere, um, I don't know, what do you think? So the, the bottom line is, I just want you to understand what we're trying to achieve. The bottom line is that we should create sufficient space so that, um, well, I think I found a culprit. We don't need the message here. So we're removing this message since there's already status. So we can go to the message and uh, eliminate message. Where is message? We eliminate it. We don't need it. And the amount has to have this dollar sign. And uh, we refresh. And we go, you see? Beautifully gone. We have the amount, we have this, we have that. So this kind of makes sense. Makes beautiful sense. So uh, in subsequent videos, we know we have done, we're done with the transactions. Uh, we can now go ahead with um, the users. You understand the user is still uh, quite messy and uh, funky, so we need to fix it up in the next video.